The isotope tritium has a half-life of 12.3 years. Okay, assume we have 10 kg of the substance. A, what will be the decay constant in per second? And B, how much tritium will be left after 30 years? Um, this integration constant is another term for decay constant. Okay, so, okay, let us do it, yeah? So first of all, uh, we can see here, uh, okay, this, this, this integration constant is the decay constant, yeah? It's another term. Uh, both of these, they are lambda, okay? They are lambda. Uh, so uh, here, the question A asks for lambda, yeah? You want the lambda, but the unit is per second. Uh, so pay attention to the unit here. Uh, this one is in SI unit, okay? You want the, sorry, okay? You want the unit in SI, yeah? unit SI unit. Uh, so what is given, yeah? What information given? Uh, give the half-life here, yeah? This is the half-life uh, in years. Uh, so pay attention, this one is in year. So I have to change to second, yeah? If I want to find the decay constant, right? Assume we have 10 kilograms of the substance, that means this one is the initial mass. Uh, we have the initial mass. Huh? Initial mass. So find the decay constant. So, okay. The half-life, okay, I written here, uh, 12.3 years. Initial mass, M0, 10 kilogram. So decay constant formula is, uh, because we have half-life, we have half-life, so just lambda equal to ln 2 over half-life. Okay, ln 2 over half-life. So uh, first of all, because I want the decay constant in per second, not per year, understand? I want in per second. So uh, this half-life, uh, this half-life I got, uh, it is given in uh, year, understand? The half-life is given in year. So I have to change it to second. I have to change the half-life to second, then only the lambda I get unit in per second. Understand? Uh, so I need to change first. Uh, I need to change the half-life into per second. So uh, so let's look at the half life again. It is um, it is a uh, twelve point three year. So we know that one year has how many days? One year has um, okay, one year it has uh three hundred and sixty five days. Sorry, three hundred and sixty five days. Okay, uh, three hundred and sixty five days, and one day got how many hour? Uh, twenty four hour. And one hour has how many seconds? And how many minutes? 60 minutes. And one minute has 60 seconds. Okay. Uh, so we multiply them all. Yeah. We multiply them all and we get what answer? Yeah. Okay. So the answer I get is a 3.87. Better write as many decimal places as possible. So uh, because this chapter uh, uh, only a a few de uh, less decimal place will end up with a very different answer. Yeah? Will end up with a very different answer. So maintain as many decimal places as possible. Okay, so 3.87893. Okay, 893. Um, how many zero is there? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, there are exponent 8. Second, ah, okay, this amount of half life. Okay, so let's find out the lambda. So the lambda is a uh, ln two over half life again. Okay, so it is a uh, ln two over the whole thing. Yeah, I have to write the whole thing here. Uh, three point eight seven eight nine three. Huh. Okay, exponent eight. Ah, uh, exponent eight. So what do I get? Uh, ln two uh, divide by answer. Okay. So the answer for lambda is one point seven eight uh, seven. Okay, seven eight seven. Um, exponent negative nine. Uh, this one unit in per second. Uh, per second. Understand? Because uh, I already convert. I already convert the half-life into second, you see? 
So my half life is in second. My half life is in second. So my uh, lambda is per second. Uh, okay, that's my lambda. Okay, let me just. Oh, sorry again. Um, no, 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 no. Um, okay. So let me just um. Wait. Um. Okay. So I just drag this out so over. Yeah. All right. So I got my lambda in per second. All right. So is that answer correct? Yeah. Do I have the correct answer? The correct answer is a one point. Uh, sorry. It's a one point eight exponent negative nine per second. So one point eight negative nine. I got one point seven eight negative nine. Yeah. Is uh almost near. Lah. It's correct. Yeah. So the answer is correct. Okay, so now let's look, let us look at the next question. How about B? Yeah? So how much tritium will be left after 30 years? Okay, so this is in year. You see that? This one is in year. So the time, this is the time taken. Okay, this is the time taken. But however, the unit is in year. How much tritium left? How much tritium? So since the, the, the initially he gave us in uh, in terms of mass not in terms of number of nuclei yeah it, it doesn't give us the n okay so uh, we use mass yeah we use mass so how much here is means how much is the final mass uh, how much is the final mass okay uh, because he give us initially also mass in terms of mass so finally also mass okay we want to find the final mass after 30 years uh, after 30 years so we use the formula m equal to m naught uh, m equal to m naught uh, exponent negative lambda t okay so i already have 10 kilogram there uh, so i substitute 10 kilogram okay do i have the lambda uh, lambda i have um, i have lambda uh, but in per second uh, the time here is in years okay not the same unit you see that uh, so what i can do is you see uh, Look at this formula. Look at this formula. I want you to pay attention to this formula. Uh, this mass M and M naught, both of these, uh, they, are, they correspond to each other. Yeah? This, the mass here is kilogram. So the M naught also kilogram. Understand? So these two masses can be cancelled. Understand? Uh, so this unit, this M and M naught unit, uh, they affect each other. But this mass is not affected by the unit of lambda and time. Understand? This mass is not affected by the unit of lambda and time. This lambda and time, they only affect each other. Lambda affected by time, time affected by lambda. That's, that's it. So, uh, so we, uh, for this lambda and time, they are indexed. Understand? They are an index number. So, they do not influence the unit of the, the parents here. Okay? So maybe I just put another color there. Okay, so this is um, just uh, uh, affect each other, yeah, lambda and time. So what I can do is because my time is in a uh, year, is in year, and my lambda I got I got it in uh, one point seven. Uh, I got this lambda. All right. Uh, I I also feel that uh, I'm lazy. I'm lazy to change this year to second. Uh, one way is of course you can make it one way is of course you can make it um lambda because lambda you already have uh per second you understand you already have per second so you can make the lambda per second substitute the value i mean you can substitute this value okay per second uh into here all right and the time here also you must change from uh 30 years from 30 years into second uh, you must change the 30 years into second uh, then uh, then only it will be correct uh, because these two uh, unit can be cancelled each other understand or i prefer the other way because i'm lazy i'm lazy to find 30 years in in terms of second so i just maintain in years understand but the lambda you don't use the one per second you use you use in terms of Per year, understand? Uh, what I do is you look at here. How do I do it? Uh, you can make it like this. Uh, you want to find the final mass, 
and now this is the initial mass, the 10 kilogram. Okay, so exponent negative lambda. Lambda, I know the formula for lambda. Lambda is a uh, ln 2 over half life. So I just maintain, I don't calculate the lambda. I just maintain ln 2 over my half life is my half life is 12.3 years. And this is also a year. So why not you just use this value? Uh, why not you just use this value? Year. So this one is a uh, 12.3 year. Uh, did you pay attention here? Uh, maybe I uh, I make a uh, year. Ah, uh, this is the formula. Uh, long two over half life. You understand? Long two over half life. The half life I put in year in terms of year because my time also year. My time also year. Ah, uh, so okay. Uh, then I no need to calculate anything. I no need to. I no need to change the thirty years to second. Okay, I feel very troublesome. Uh, so the time I can maintain as the time here I maintain as thirty years. Ah, uh, thirty year. Uh, then I easy job lah. Easy job done. Ah, uh? so what I can do is um uh, ah you see that the because this one is uh per year. Uh, per year and year, I can cancel of the unit. I can cancel of the unit. You understand or not? Uh, because my unit here is per year. My unit here is year. Yeah. So there are two choice. You can either make per second with second. Okay, per second with second, or you want to make per year with year. You still get the same answer finally. Okay. Uh, they still can cancel off. Uh, they still can cancel off the year. Uh, let's calculate and see. Yeah, let's calculate and see and find the correct answer. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So I get my answer. I got my answer in uh after I calculate. Yeah. Uh, in terms of year, you see that. Uh, I calculated the answer. Final mass is um one point eight four four uh kilogram. Uh, why kilogram? Because it follow the unit on top here. Yeah. You follow the mass m not uh, m not is in m not m not is in kilogram so my final mass also kilogram uh, so is that answer correct uh, 1.8 kilogram that's correct yeah 1.8 1.8 kilogram that's correct uh, 1.844 kilogram is near the weight uh, you understand that so this one you uh, this lambda you can maintain in year because the time is in year Okay, uh, this one is flexible, but I want you to be careful. Yeah, not always you have you can maintain like this. Sometimes, if let's say the next question asking about activity, uh, let's say activity, we know that activity, or we can say decay rate, yeah, decay rate, uh, is equal to negative lambda n. Ah, this one you have to be careful. This one normally we know that the normally the decay rate decay rate is per second, uh, and this activity also per second. Yeah, in fact, activity is decay rate. Decay rate is activity. The rate of decay. This is the rate of decay is the same as activity. Okay, both of them is in unit per second. Uh, so the lambda here you cannot you cannot do like this. You cannot uh, put long two over year half life in year. No. This half life, you have to uh, change to per second. Oh, sorry, you have to change to per second. You understand? Uh, because um, and this one has no unit. Uh, the n, the n here has no unit. Uh, the one only, the only one have unit is the lambda and the activity or d n over d t. Ah, so uh, this this lambda, the unit must follow the decay rate. The decay rate is per second. So the lambda here also must be per second, cannot be per year. Uh, only this equation uh, can uh, put the lambda in per year. Either this equation or the other equation like uh, n equal to n naught exponent negative lambda t or a equal to a naught exponent negative lambda t. Uh, here, here the lambda you can put per year. You can put per year or per day or per minute or per hour. Okay. Uh, but this one, this this formula, the lambda you must change to SI unit. Oops, sorry, sorry. What is this? Okay. Uh, you must change. Uh, you must change all to 
SI on, SI unit only. Okay, the lambda must follow the activity per second. Okay, I think that's all for um um yeah. Just remember, you, lambda here can use per year, but here the lambda must use SI unit only. Okay, so that's all for this uh, first question. Okay, let's go move on to the next one.